In this video, we're going to focus on writing text in the canvas. And with the canvas, there are basically two options to write text. We can write them with a fill color. So basically, the color is completely filled up or just only the strokes, meaning just only the outer borderline of the font. So to see and understand this, we need to look at how to do this. So let's start to, to create this. And then you can see the differences once they are being shown. Here, a quick note, because we have a black background, it would mean that we need to give a different color for our font. So first of all, we're going to make the fill version of the text. So I'm going to see a CTX. Let's say fill style, indicating what will be the color of the text. And for ours, we will say color red. And then what I want to say here is CTX. And then I'm going to select here, fill text. This is very important. And this will be a parentheses. And then in here, we have four parameters. We have the first one would be basically the position the X and Y, or sorry, not the X and Y. The first one would be the text itself. So the text that we want. Then we have the X and Y. And finally, which is an optional, is an optional version, is the width or max width of the text. Max width of text. So I will just ignore this one for now. We don't need this one for now. And then what I'm going to say here is the text. I'm going to put in here something that's a color red text and then here we're going to put in the position let's say we're going to start here at 50 pixels to the left and then or sorry to the right and 50 pixels down Set my column here and once I did this I want to say here save this and refresh and you can see it here but maybe you might notice that this is still quite hard to see we can increase the text font later on however you can see here if I push this here we can push this more to the right and we can go all the way basically to the very end that would be whatever the size would be of this if we would calculate that size uh, this should be about 1132 pixels so we can just recalculate it 1232 pixels so they say minus 100 make it like that let me push the all at the very back all right so now we have this one so let's put this back here 50 say refresh what we could do as well is make this more dynamic by saying here for example constant and let's say here, text and this text could be for example the text we have here we cut that out put it in there and then we will put a semicolon here and then make sure that this text variable or constant is being shown here save that refresh and you can see here this works nicely so next what we can do here, and this is probably an important one, is because you might say, well, this text is quite small. How could we increase the size of it? Well, let's start to work on it. Run down here, and then we're going to say CTX, and then we're going to say, say here font. And this font command allows us to do a few items. We're going to put in here a quotation, and then we're going to say here font. Let's say 20 pixels, and then we say the font family would be aria, semicolon. Save that, refresh, there we are. All right, so now we have this one. What we could do more is the following. We're going to grab all of this, or at least what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do a CTX. And then this one will be the, not the fill style, but the stroke style. And then here, I'll say here, this will be color blue. Same my column here. And then I'll just copy here exactly the same, except this one will be uh, 100 pixels down. So 50 pixels down compared to the previous text here. I save this, refresh. We have this one, all right. And I realize, of course, this is a mistake because this needs to be stroke text. Sorry about that. Because why? Then you will see it is slightly different. If you really look at it, you might see it looks a bit blurred, but it's not really blurred. There's something else going on. It will just cover only the outer line of the font. So if I would do here an increase size, that's maybe 50, Go in here, and then you can see here now the true difference of this. And this is quite interesting because with this, we could, for example, give it a color in a part, which is the background color, and then the outer part, which is the border lines, could be colored in a different item. So we could just say here, uh, we're going to copy this, so here, fill style, and this could be, for example, green. And then I'm just going to grab this, and just put it in there, and then we say here, fill text, save, refresh, 
And now, I'm not sure you're able to see it. I realize that these colors are far too similar. So I'm going to say here, red and green, save, refresh. So if you look very carefully, you might see a little bit, but it's very tough to see this one. But basically, this is one of these options that you can use for designing the fonts. So let's put this back. Here we are, and save that and refresh. There we are. 